everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be my 21 week pregnancy update. So after last week, which was like a really important week for us as a family after having the specialist scan, I wanted to kind of go back to basics this week and focus more on, you know, symptoms and how I've been feeling and things like that. So in terms of symptoms, I do have quite a few things that are going on at the moment that are a little bit different. And the first thing that I've noticed, and I think this is a symptom of me having a little boy baby personally. It just seems to be the way it works with me. But I feel like my hair is growing faster. And I'm not just talking about this hair, I'm talking about body hair in general. Because I'm that sort of person normally where I can shave probably once a week quite easily and I don't really get that much regrowth. I'm not like a hairy person, like, you know, legs, armpits, bikini area, whatever. But I have noticed that when I'm pregnant with little boys, I feel like I get a lot more regrowth a lot more quickly and sometimes it can be worse in certain weeks depending on my development and stuff. But it's really annoying <laughs> because I am one of those people that just likes to, you know, feel silky smooth when I can and keep on top of it because it it's less about like pleasing Mark, it's just about how I feel. And um I've just been reaching for my Venus a lot more than usual, so that's one symptom. And then another is general discomfort and backache. I do tend to struggle with backache, not massively. Um, I don't think it's like, you know, something that means I can't move around and I'm struggling in in a massive sense, but it's just really uncomfortable. I have a, I'm, I'm quite an hourglass figure and I do have a really small waist, which is great, you know, day to day. It makes me look slimmer than I am sometimes. But when I'm pregnant, the that part of my waist, the small bit, really struggles. Like, I can feel like it's like my weak point and the center of my back is very, very sore as a result. And I found that quite difficult because sometimes I've noticed when I'm out and about and getting things done, I do have like a throb in my back. And some days, if I'm very active, it feels like my muscles there are screaming and it's just really sore. So I've been trying to take it easy, but I have a five-year-old, I have an 18-month-old and I've got a relatively busy lifestyle. I'm always walking to and fro, I'm not a big driver so it's just one of those things where I'm just trying to make sure that I rest in the evening. Now on that note, one thing that I wanted to mention was this bad boy. I was actually sent this to review in my pregnancy with Daisy and it is my Theraline maternity breastfeeding pregnancy pillow type thing and as you can see it is absolutely massive and I have it in this print which is grey with the white spots because I'm all about that grey and um, rather than using it in bed because at the moment bed isn't too problematic what I have been doing on our sofa behind me there's like a corner bit that faces the telly and I sit there because I'm bossy and hug the sofa but what I've been doing is putting this behind me and I'm a bit more slouched down normally so I can't really do it on this chair but I've got my arms here and it's supporting my back and I'm at such a nice and comfy angle and it's just really really helping me at night because I find that point when I'm getting the kids to bed is like the toughest point so if you haven't got one of these already and you're a bit uncomfortable as well either get your hands on one you can get loads of different pregnancy pillows you don't have to get this one um, but try it on the sofa as well as bed because I think you'll be pleasantly surprised one weird thing that happened uh, this week is sickness and I was sick which was uh, unusual because I don't think I've ever ever had sickness in my pregnancy at this stage before but we were on our way to Manchester St Mary's um, Children's Hospital with Daisy's cleft review and on the way there I was asked by Mark if I could check the name of the road where there was a certain car park that Mark wanted to go to afterwards because he was heading over to work and he was going to drop us off. And um, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll have a look on Google Maps. And I was like scrolling through the map and trying to find this road and work out what the name was. And I started to feel really sick. So I opened a window and I tried to carry on, found the name. And then luckily, we still had the... Um, Halloween bucket that we've been keeping in the car since I found out I was pregnant because one of my earlier symptoms was car sickness 
and I reached behind me, got it from the footwell at the back of the car and I just threw up in it and I hadn't eaten that morning and I am 100% certain that that is why I felt so queasy. I have to eat straight away or I feel awful and um, I threw up and it was mainly, you know, TMI, sorry if you are watching this and eating, please stop eating now, but it was mainly bile, stomach acid, and it was like a, a milky liquid colour, so there was no food in there, but as such it tasted disgusting, and it was quite painful, so that wasn't very nice. And then finally, the biggest symptoms for me have been my emotions, and it's been quite disappointing really, because obviously we did have really, really good news last week, and there's every likelihood that this little boy is going to be fine when he is born. There's always a risk and there's always a chance that that might not be the case, but that is completely out of our control, and it's something that we're just gonna have to wait and see when he's born. But I expected, once getting that news, that I would be bouncing off the walls with sheer happiness. It's November now, it's like the countdown to Christmas, like, it's the most wonderful time of the year, and you get goosebumps, and it's just of magic and wonder isn't it but I have been so emotional this week and I've really struggled with it I've had this sort of dreams where you know when you have a dream and then it kind of carries on to real life and you're not quite sure when you wake up whether that was real or not well one of the biggest things that I've been really insecure about this week aside from like you know your body changes and you don't always feel that beautiful when you're pregnant do you, you feel a bit like a lump if I'm honest and um I had a dream well, I had a series of dreams all night where I lost Mark. And I don't mean like I lost him in the supermarket and he was down the fruit and veg aisle. Not that kind of lost. It was like he either died, I had several dreams where he died that night, which was horrific. And then there was one where he cheated on me and I was broken in the morning. I was so, you know when you wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm exhausted, can I go back to bed? And you kind of look across the bed at them, don't you? And you're like, yeah, well, I hate you because you cheated on me in my dream. And he's like looking at me like, babe, what, what's wrong? And I just, it really, really set me off. It was awful. And then as a result of that for like the past week, it's made me think like, oh, what if he did leave me and what if he doesn't fancy me anymore and what if I'm, I just look like a big fat pregnant blob and what if I'm too emotional and stroppy right now and I'm hard work and then I like panic about losing him in various ways and then I've just been really, really emotional and really just upset about things like Bill went to his dad's last night his dad picked him up from school I wasn't happy about that that made me really down obviously I'm like the neediest girlfriend in the world to mark at the moment and then I dropped Daisy off at nursery this morning and that made me upset because then I came back to the house and even though I've got work to do and it's normal like I'm normally really excited about working I felt sad because I didn't have any company and I missed her and I was lonely and these aren't normal behaviours for me, I'm not normally this bad, I'm like, I'm a soppy sad when I want to be, but I'm not, I'm not like this, so I have found that really hard and frustrating because I keep thinking, well what is there to be sad about, you've got a potentially healthy baby in your tummy, you don't have anything to be sad about, everything's going to be okay, but it's just, you can't control being pregnant, can you, and I thought, I would talk about this because I'm kind of hoping that a few of you will comment and go, yeah, me too, <laughs> I'm in the Moody Club. Um, please tell me if you are in the Moody Club. So I thought I would quickly move on to how our little baby boy is doing this week because that's the most exciting bit, isn't it? And he is now roughly the size of a cantaloupe melon, which is actually quite big when you think about it. And that is about 26.7 centimetres in length, which again is getting closer to that like big ruler length and he is weighing in at around 12.7 ounces so he's nearly very very nearly at a pound and I actually think he will weigh a pound as of next week and when we had all of the measurements done at our scan he was like dead on track for those sorts of weights and lengths and things like that so um i feel like everything that my apps tell me is quite realistic now the nice thing about this stage is that he basically looks like how he will when he's born which is kind of strange to think about really because obviously there's a long time until he's born but this part of baby's development is very much about getting bigger and you know chunkier and ready for the real world but yeah i love this stage because they get much more active he is getting much more wriggly now and has certain movements like 
periods throughout the day where he's really active so like first thing in the morning often he likes to have a wiggle every time i've eaten maybe like he knows i'm not sure and he's obviously quite um wiggly at night and the nicest thing about the past um couple of weeks is that mark has actually felt him move so he was moving quite rapidly over the weekend at night while we were watching telly and i was like babe give me a hand and let's like just be patient and let me see if you can feel him and he did and it was just it was amazing it always is isn't it it's just that magical feeling of like I'm sharing my secret with you and you know what it feels like to feel him and that's our baby boy and we made him and it was beautiful it really was beautiful and I fell in love with Mark uh, a million times more I don't I always think that I couldn't love him any more than I do and then just something like that happens and I'm just reminded of how lucky I am that I get to like have a baby or several babies with this amazing man in my life but yeah I think that is everything for this week so I'm going to quickly show you my tummy before I go I feel like I am growing quite quickly now and um, you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below so I am wearing an old jumper that I've had for years now so you probably can't see that much probably just look like I've eaten too much to be honest but if I lift my top up this is my little baby boy and he's getting really really big now and if I show you on my stomach um I haven't got any new stretch marks yet maybe I will maybe I won't but I feel like my old ones get stretched out again and they become much more prominent whereas once like he's here you won't really see them as much but you can really see that like he's starting to take shape in my tummy now and i'm starting to look very very pregnant i think so yeah that's everything so thank you so much for watching and let me know how you're doing in the comments below if you're pregnant and if you're at a similar time as me as well because i always look out for people that are like roughly the same um gestation ahead because it's quite fun to think that i've got some little bump buddies out there and yeah if you are new don't forget to subscribe if you want to continue following us on this journey there's a while yet until he's born um it's 13th of march 2018 is is when he's due but i would love to have you along for the ride and yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!